And in 2015, Nigerians witnessed the first handover of political power from a ruling party to an opposition party. Now, that seamless transition from one administration to another sums up the popular notion that democracy has come to stay in the country. In this Democracy Day interview, former president, good luck, Jonathan, talks about democracy and how it could be strengthened in the country. In spite of the challenges we still face today, democracy is still the best form of government universally accepted by all human beings. What's wanting about the human society is freedom. And that's one of the key reasons people believe that a democratic setting is the best option. In terms of governance per se, if you look at some of the nations that are governed by traditional rulers, kings and emirs, they are doing well. But the citizens, some of them don't feel free. But in a democratic setting, citizens are free, except a co-side democracy where you, people win elections, but there's no democracy. There's difference between conducting elections and democratic practice. At the state level, you have the governor. You have a state assembly. At the federal level, you have a president. You have a national assembly, made up of two arms, so run by a camera, a senate, and a so forth. So there are certain things that the executive will want to do that they say, no, we don't believe this is good for us. Or they can question if monies are spent in a way they are not convinced that we are at this. So when you have this mix, it gives people hope. And it's hope that keeps people alive. 